Hey guys, in this video, we're going to learn how to install NAN inside of EasyPanel, which is going to be installed inside an instance of AWS. We're going to be using AWS SliceSail, which is basically a VPS. This ensures that you don't have to worry about AWS just charging you for some, some usage that you don't even know of. I know that it's kind of popular that using AWS can cause you some financial harm, but this isn't the case. So yeah, let's start off with uh, I just created a fresh new Gmail. Uh, let's go over to awsamazon.com. Probably in any of the AWS websites, you can be right redirected to this sign-in page, which you can just create a new AWS account down here. Now for the root user email address, let's place in the one that I just created. Hit the verify, go back to your email, keep updating it, get the code. Verify it. Now let's place uh, a password. After you fill in the password, uh, you should be prompted to insert some contact information. Let's just proceed to filling this in. Hit next. And here is where you're going to have to fill in your credit card number. You'll not be charged. This access to the instance is free for three months. And after those three months, you might pay something around like $10 or, or such. Uh, for the, like the rest of the months. Now you'll have to confirm your identity. So let's do this through text message. For this part, just to keep it free, you could select the basic support, complete sign up, and that's it. Congratulations, you've just signed up with AWS. Go to, like, click on this, go to the AWS management console. Now you'll be redirected to like the main dashboard for AWS. You can ignore everything here. Just click on light sale, which will direct you to the light sale dashboard instead of the overall AWS instances. So yeah, let's create an instance inside light sale directly. So just hit this create an instance. If you like, if for some reason you click skip for now, the button will appear here. So just create the instance and to use easy panel, we have to use an operating system. Let's choose like the latest one, Ubuntu 24.04. Down here is where you can find what's the price per month. Uh, up to 90 days, it's completely free. You won't have any expenses. Even if you use like the, the most of the, the VPS, it'll still charge nothing. But after this, th these three months, you will get charged this value per month. So just checking the documentation for NAN prerequisites, you can see that even our, like the, even the, the lowest package here could handle NAN, but it's not really ideal. I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend, uh, this package upwards and there's a thing in light sale where you can upgrade but if you downgrade then i don't even know how you would handle this and how you would um really transfer things back i, I just believe you would have to buy a different server and then migrate and like this would be much harder so yeah just to try it out at first start with this one you could later upgrade to the 12 dollars one and like it's it's seamless the, the upgrade is seamless so yeah, for now, let's go with the $7. Remembering this is free for uh, the first 90 days. Yeah, it could just be Ubuntu one. Let's create the instance. This might take a while. If after a while your screen is still like this, just F5 and probably the instance will have been created and it's already running. So just click on the instance, it'll open up. Inside of your terminal, be sure to, to type in sudo hyphen I and then head over to Easy Panel's website, copy that, paste it in here, and that's it. Uh, this command by itself will just execute everything that you need. This could take a while, so I'll be back in some seconds. Okay, that's done. So now it's instructing us to access our HTTP. This, this is basically the IPv4 address, I believe. So when you go back here to the Light cell instance, you can see that same address. Uh, you can get that, go in here and just access in the port 3000. One thing that could happen here is that you're going to try to access uh, that port and it's not going to be available. So what you need to do is just come here over to the network tab, uh, then add a rule here to the AP, IPv4 firewall. And this rule is going to be a custom TCP of 3000. You hit create and yeah, that's basically it. You're just going to allow the port 3000 to be accessed. Go back here, 
hit enter and now you can access easy panel. If it's the first time you're, you're connecting to easy panel, it's going to prompt you for the login and password. So just fill that in. By continuing, we agree. I don't want to receive any updates. So just hit setup. Wait a sec, some seconds. And this is the first thing you need to do in easy panel. Very important step. Uh, you should come down here where it says dark mode and click it. Nice. You got like half the, the job done. Now let's head over to create the project. You can use the name NAN. There's no problem because probably you're going to install some other features that is going to be specifically for NAN, such as Redis or a Postgres and much more. And then for the service, you can type in NAN right here, head over to the template and add a name like main, which like the, this is going to be the, the main service for NAN. And if you want the latest version, just type in latest here, but don't think that's like the, the best ideal situation simply because every time that there's a, a new version, it will update to that new version. And maybe it's not uh, it's not like, like the, the most optimal version. Maybe you just want to stick around with a safer version that you're more used to. So yeah, leave it as default, hit create, and it and was created successfully. Go to project. And as soon as you get to the project, you'll see that it's already initializing, right? Uh, soon enough, you'll see something like, yeah, editor is now available via 5678. And this might take a while, so if you hit open here, maybe it won't open immediately. Another very important step here is for you to always add the rule of HTTPS. So all you have to do is like, if you don't have this, so let me erase this permission, add the rule, come right down here, HTTPS, hit create, and that is done. As soon as you do that, what you can do now is access any HTTPS route so now if you hit open, you'll be redirected to your NAN instance. Fill in everything and as soon as you hit next, this will be created. Don't save that. Software as a service, uh, business owner, get started. Here you'll, you'll be prompted with a, 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 a free license, license key. And this is like the community license. So it's pretty cool. Like just hit that. All you have to do to access it is F5 here. You'll receive a license key right over there. Then hit help um, about NAN, I believe. No, not there. Quick start documentation, not documentation either. Uh, hit this settings, uh, usage and plan. Yeah, it's right here. Then enter activation key. As soon as you enter this, you get the community edition. Yeah, the, like, I, I don't even know what you, what what you get out of this, but I remember that I tried to use some features that were available only in this community edition, and it's pretty easy, like you just receive it for free. So probably you'll wanna use it. And this is pretty much it. All you have to do now is really create your agent, and yeah, there'll be more tutorial on how to build these agents and how to use uh, the, these AI agents tools appropriately from now on. I believe that NAN is a pretty nice piece of software for you to be building things much more faster and especially generative AI integration. So, so yeah, you'll be seeing much more of these type of content from now on in this channel. Thanks for watching and like always, see you guys in the next video. Till then.